Weather forecasters are predicting a wet, snowy winter. So now is the time to plot your reading list for when the weather keeps you indoors. Plan an escape to Victorian London, World War II Italy and the French Mediterranean, or go behind the scenes at a reality TV baking show. Get lost in the lives of fictional characters, or empathize with real people who lay bare their struggles. Even after a traumatic allergic reaction, Chavez continued to lead the life of a busy working mother caring for two young boys, often on her own as her husband traveled for work. But secretly, her mind was racing with fear of so many things she couldn't control, choking hazards, lurking kidnappers, flesh-eating bacteria, culminating in a panic attack that left her gasping for breath. Chavez's story of losing herself to debilitating anxiety and finding her way to recovery will be relatable to parents, caregivers and any reader with a tendency to put others' needs before their own. Zibby, January 2nd, Maud's sister, Constance, disguised herself as a man to board a ship bound for the Arctic Circle and never returned. The British Admiralty claims that her sister's death was an unfortunate tragedy, but Maud suspects foul play, especially after Constance's journals are passed to her under a table in a macabre bar in Victorian London. Pook's engrossing historical mystery alternates between Constance's dispatches from the frigid north and Maud's search for answers, a perilous inquiry that takes her to grisly places. Simon and Schuster, January 16, to his devout Baptist community, Eli Harpo is known as the Chosen One after meeting Jesus during a near-death experience as a four-year-old. As a teenager, he's not entirely sure what happened, but he gamely repeats his story to residents of nursing homes and hospices to help keep his family financially afloat. When the owner of a biblical theme park arrives on Eli's doorstep with an offer that's hard to refuse, the Harpos embark on a Bible Belt road trip. Yet Eli can't shake the feeling that his miracle tale might not be genuine. Sklick's debut novel lampoons the fraught interplay of religion and capitalism while presenting a compassionate portrayal of one family's relationship with its faith. Overlook, January 16, Miller's epic tale of World War II adventure follows the newly orphaned teenager Massimo and his enigmatic rescuer, the art restorer Pietro Houdini, as the two try to recover valuable treasures from occupying German forces. The smuggling effort is joined by an improbable group of companions, a nurse and a cafe owner with different reasons for wanting revenge, two lovers, a German soldier, and even an injured mule, as Massimo starts to question Pietro's claims. Everyone must make difficult choices to survive, reflecting the moral complexity of life during wartime. Avid Reader, January 16, a lonely young woman yearning for travel. Risk and excitement is swept off her feet by an older man who lives the life of her dreams.